I'm deep out here in the wish somebody woods to talk about nicotinasty. Nicotinasty? Nicotinasty sounds like an anti-smoking campaign, which would be effective because nicotine is nasty. I should know I quit 15 years ago because it was nasty. But when I talk about nicotinasty, I'm talking about this plant. Oh, that's clover. No, it's not. It's actually redwood sorrel, oxalis, oregana. It's often grown and sold as clover around St. Patrick's Day because it looks just like clover, except for has a longer shelf life once it's picked. But that's hardly the most interesting thing about it. It's nicotinasty. Nicotinasty means that its leaves can move. So redwood sorrel leaves actually close up when there's too much sun, which sounds kind of confusing because plants are green and they do photosynthesis, which means they grab carbon dioxide and you know sunlight, turn it into sugar, and that supports like 99.99% of all life on, on the planet. Well, it can photosynthesize under very little light. This is one of the photosynthesizing champions of the redwoods. And you gotta be a photosynthesizing champion out here because the redwoods are tall, you know, like 350 feet tall, tallest trees in the world, and they block a lot of sun. So these guys only need that much sunlight to make things happen. And when there's too much, they don't like it. And so they close their leaves. So nicotinacy is their ability to close, to protect their leaves, protect it against too much sun, protect it against too much rain. Cause they don't want it to, you know, to rip and stuff. And, and maybe it's super windy. They don't want their leaves to get damaged and to close at night just because there's no sun. So why, why do it? I don't know. It takes a few minutes for them to close. So when the sun gets on them or when you know it's raining really hard and then it takes like six minutes or so for them to open back up i've never sat and watched it but now that i've made this video i'm going to so if you put a time lapse camera on a rabbit sorrel you'd see it be like oh too much sun okay sun is back oh too much rain okay rain's gone oh it's night time so it'd be like it'd be like it'd be like a dance you could do the redwood sorrel dance i seen your mama doing that on the side of the freeway Rabbit sorrel is edible to a degree. Like you can eat some of it, but if you eat too much, it has oxalic acid in it and you'll get the bubble guts. But it's not, but it's not horribly toxic. You can have just a little bit. And it actually tastes like green apple to me. And it kind of freshens your breath a little bit. So if you're on a date in Redwoods, you can just pick some of that and chew it before you give any kisses or anything. And if you want to know why you should plant native plants, go listen to the Jumpstart Nature podcast. You can download it wherever you get podcasts, or you can go to jumpstartnature.com slash podcast and listen to episodes one and two so you can learn why native plants are so incredibly important to plant. To learn how we are restoring previously clear-cut redwood forest, go to redwoodsrising.org.